Hi there. Here's a card that uses a technique called color washing and it goes together really, really quick. It start with some of our watercolor paper. This watercolor paper comes in a pack of five and it measures six by nine. You can cut it in half and cut it in half again and you're going to get four pieces that measure four and a half by three. It's a pretty thick good quality watercolor paper and I've already stamped an image on this side. The nice thing about using good quality watercolor paper is if you mess up on this side it doesn't show through. The paper's thick enough that you can stamp on this side and you'll never know that you had a mistake on the reverse. Now I've stamped an image from a set called Lovely as a Tree. This is an older stamp set from Stamping Up. It's still available. You can see the copyright information was 2001 and it's still available on the new catalog that's coming out. So I inked it up in Black Stays On and I pressed very firmly when I stamped it on this paper. The watercolor paper has a little bit of texture to it so to still get all the fine detail in that stamp you want to apply a lot of pressure when you stamp it. To apply the color we're going to use Wild Wasabi ink you're going to kind of squish the pad like this and then when you open it up you'll notice there's quite a bit of ink on the lid. You can use a, a regular watercolor paintbrush, but I like to use our aqua painter. It's refillable. You simply unscrew the top, add the water inside there. There's a little line right here that tells you when to stop with your water. You don't want to go all the way to the tip top there, so you want to stop at the fill line. And then you just screw this back on. So you're going to give it a little bit of a squeeze to get the water right in this little section here. And you can tell that it gets down there because see how it looks kind of clear and then see how it gets a little bit darker. That means the water has already gotten in there and it started flowing to this tip. So you always want to check and make sure that it's not dripping wet, but you do want it to be fairly wet for this technique. So you're going to go to the ink on the pad and kind of scribble it a little bit. And then you're simply going to go back and forth in a fairly quick and kind of messy way. So don't worry about it being exact or even. You really don't want that. So you just kind of keep going back and then you just go back and forth. And you want some variation in the color as well. So like I said, don't get too caught up on it being perfect or having even lines or being, you know, straight or solid with the color. Now it's going to dry a little bit lighter than what you start with so keep that in mind as well when you're adding the color. So once I have the initial wash on there if there's any little spots that seemed a little dark then I can kind of go back over and blend that in a little bit. But again it's supposed to be very random and you don't even want to go from edge to edge. You want to just kind of wash it on there and stop and then you're done. Okay so then to clear this all you're going to do is give it a good squeeze and then wipe on a tissue just like that. So I'm just going to wipe off to the side and then when I come back you can see that the tip is all clean and ready to go. So we're going to use Bashful Blue for the sky. This color is retiring so if you don't have Bashful Blue you can use any light shade of blue. I think we have a soft sky that is coming back that would work well too and probably pool party. So you have the ink here so you're going to give a little wiggle to get some on the brush and again you're just going to go back and forth and just going to kind of squiggle it along and give this give the aqua painter a little bit of a squeeze just to keep that water flowing this watercolor paper will take a lot of water if you do this technique on our whisper white cardstock it's not going to work as well because that paper isn't designed to take this much water. So just keep scribbling, scribbling, scribbling. And let's kind of get a little bit of blue over here. Now I'm being a little careful when I go next to the green. If that green isn't dry and I do the blue right next to it, it's going to bleed a little bit and I don't really want that. So I'm just going to kind of finish this up a little bit and make sure it's where I like it. And again, remember we're not going from one edge to the next. Now you'll notice the paper is kind of curling a little bit. That'll flatten out once it's had a chance to dry. 
But see how you have the different shading in the green and the blue, which is really nice. So I'll come back to the sample. And again, you can see I did not go to the edges of the watercolor paper. You want to just kind of randomly swipe your aqua painter across. I did layer it onto basic black cardstock. And remember the watercolor paper is three by four and a half. So I cut my black to three and one eighth by four and five eighths. I just want an eighth of an inch larger on each side. So I have a, a tiny little border of black around the edges. And then I layer this onto bashful blue cardstock. I decided not to put a greeting on this card, but you certainly could. There's room up here for a greeting. One from Teeny Tiny Wishes would probably be perfect. You could also add a greeting at the bottom. I just wanted to leave mine blank and make it more like a note card. So I hope you enjoyed this technique and we'll give it a try. If you'd like more ideas, please go to KeenanCreations.com. Thank you and have a great day.